puts value in your life. Faith puts value in your life. And then he blew the trumpet. And 32,000 of the Israelites came. God said, there are too many. And then he took them to the riverside. And eventually only 300 remained. But the 300 people, God said, you will overcome. Maybe you don't have too many people on your side. Jesus is on your side. And with Jesus, the Savior on your side. Jesus, Redeemer on your side. You have overcome already. I have overcome. I have overcome. I have overcome. I have Gideon overcame. Gideon is second. Have you heard of? Ezekiah. He was sick. And it was unto death. And as he was sick like that, Isaiah came to him. Isaiah said, set your house in order because you will die, you will not leave. Those who are afraid, they don't fear negative prophecy. Those who are facing God, they don't fear anything that a false prophet or even a true prophet Prophet says. And so Isaiah dropped the bombshell and went away. And then Ezekiah said, God, we'll talk about this. Tonight, we'll talk about this. Are you there? I said, tonight, we'll talk about this. Said, Lord, remember now, remember your promise. Remember I've been walking with you. And God said, All right, you will not die again. Somebody there, you will not die. Premature death is cancelled. He said, I said, Go back and tell the man. I give him 15 years extra. Extra. See, extra. Somebody there, extra. You will have it in Jesus' name. Here comes Isaiah himself. Isaiah, the man of God. All these other kings, they were rising against the king of Israel, king of Judah. Isaiah said, go tell that king. Those people, those enemies, they will not go back by the same way they came. God will root them out. Every plant the heavenly father has not planted in your life, they rooted out tonight. Because the Lord is telling us, it is by faith from Abraham to Bartimaeus to Caleb and to David it's my faith. Look at, this, look at this young man there. His name is Jabez. He was born in sorrow. He was born in suffering. He said, Why am I like this? Faith will get you out of every sorrow. Faith will get you out of every problem. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Those tears will dry up. Have faith in God. That tumor will vanish away. Have faith in God. That thing that is knocking your head will vanish away. And Jabez preach unto the Lord. And as Jabez Prayed unto the Lord. He said, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed. And that there will be no evil upon my life. And that I will make progress. And God 
answered all his prayer. Somebody there tonight. I rejoice with you because you are there. Like Jacob, like Jabez, he will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. There was a man in the New Testament. And the Lord that appeared to him, the Lord that told him to go and call Peter, because Peter was in Joppa. And he said, he will tell you the word whereby you'll be saved. And that man Cornelius in answer to the apostle chapter 10 verse 24 he got the king's men together. The king's men of Cornelius. And then eventually Peter came and Cornelius was the king's men. He said, we're all here to hear whatever it is you want to tell us. And as Peter was speaking, heavens opened. The Holy Ghost came upon them in power. The Holy Ghost came upon them with the supernatural. The Holy Ghost will come upon you tonight. All, all those king's men of Cornelius, they received that power. Now, Levi, you remember all the children of Israel, they had fallen, they had failed. And Moses came back from the top of the mountain. God said, I will destroy them. God said, I will not leave any of them alive. Every one in Israel. Aaron to the Levites, to everybody, they are gone. God. And Moses began to pray. God will answer the prayer of Jesus for you. He's making intercession for you. If you think of everything you've done, there'll be no hope. But because of Jesus, interceding for you, I'm praying for you. There is hope coming for you tonight. What are you there? God will put a smile and laughter on your face. And then Moses stood by the gate of the camp. And he said, who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And the Levites look at one another. And he said, there is chance for mercy. There is an open door for grace. There is an open door for the love of God. The door of grace is open open for you today. And the door of mercy is open for you today. And the door of the compassion of God is open for you today. And all the sons of Levi came in. On that day, they occupied a special, peculiar position in Israel. I welcome you tonight to a special place in the body of Christ. I welcome you tonight to a peculiar place in the body of Christ. Something is happening to you, you will never forget. Abraham, Abraham, Batimios, Batmeu, Caleb, Caleb, David, David, Elijah, Elijah, the friends of the paralytic, Gideon, Gideon, Ezekiah, Ezekiah Isaiah, Isaiah, Jabez, Jabez the king's men of Cornelius, Cornelius Levi, Levi, Mary, and Master. Lord, if you had been here, our brother Lazarus would not have died. But now we know. But now we know that even now, whatever you ask the Father, He will do it for you. And I'm telling you tonight, whatever Jesus will ask the Father on your behalf, you've got a miracle tonight. Your blinders are open tonight. That part of your life, of your body, is coming alive tonight in Jesus' name. And Jesus said, take care with the stone. And Martha said, Lord, the man died about four days ago. He's thinking already. And Jesus said, didn't I tell you? If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Somebody there tonight will see the glory of God. 
Lord, Jesus came to that grave. Jesus, why was he he said, no. Lazarus, come forth. And it came forth. He will come forth today. I said, you come forth today. Do you remember Noah? Because God gave him the word. He said, the blood will come upon all the earth. And then he says, by faith, Noah. When God gave him the word, Jesus said, that is what in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the son of man shall come. They'll be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until that blood will come upon them unawares. But the people you are like Noah, you will escape the judgment of God. Obech Edom. It's the ark of God that came to his house. Everybody was afraid. Ah, Uzzah died when he touched that thing. I will not allow that act to come to me. They were living in fear. Obed Edom had faith. He said, let the ark of God come to my house. That represented Jesus Christ. That has the mercy seat. And Jesus is going with you to your house today. And all the time that ark of the covenant was in the house of Obed Edom. Do you remember that the blessing came? As you take Jesus home today. Blessing will come upon your house. Blessing will come upon your family. Here come, look at this woman. Do you know his name, her name? I don't know her name. I call her the quiet petitioner. Quiet petitioner. She didn't talk. She couldn't talk. She couldn't scream. She couldn't tell people, give me chance to get to Jesus. She came from behind. And she said in her heart, a quiet petitioner, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. Quietly, quietly, she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. Twelve years problem vanished away immediately. God bless you, I see you there. I know you are quiet. You've been, so you've been kind of swallowing your tears. You've been making your wounds in quietness. What you say tonight is my night. That's true, this is your night. That's true, this is your day. Jesus is here for you. Jesus is here for you. Touch him, he will heal you. For what can you wear? Touch him, he will deliver you. Touch him, he will set you free. Touch him, he will set you free. Look at Ruth. Ruth came, she was a widow at a young age. Ruth came, she was a widow at a young age. Ruth came, she was a widow at a young age. Ruth came, she was a widow at a young age. Ruth came, she was a widow at a young age. Ruth came, she was a widow at a young age. And Naomi said, your sister-in-law has gone back. Your sister-in-law has gone back. Why don't you also go back? Why don't you also go back? Is there any hope? He said, I have faith. I will go with you. The Lord is calling you. Are you hopeless? Christ is waiting for you here. When you come to the Lord, come out of Moab. Come out of the city of destruction. And come to Jesus. Your people will be my people. When you leave, I will leave. When you die, I will die. Your God will be my God. And then hope everything turned around. Everything will turn around for the better your life in Jesus' name. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I see the three of them coming. Because you cannot separate them. Here is Shadrach. Here is Meshach. Here is Abednego. And the king of terror. The king of evil. The king of the 
furnace, the king of destruction, the king the great persecutor, he said, I heard, tell me, is it true, you will not bow down to my idol, if you change your mind, all right. If you say you'll not change your mind, look at that furnace there. Has somebody threatened you? Occultic power threatened you? That society threatened you? I said Nebuchadnezzar threatened you? The night will see the downfall of Satan in your life. Said that we are not careful to answer you. Do what you want to do. Our God is able. He threw them into the fire. Jesus came there. He is the fourth one. He is the son of God. And he is the one that came to get them out of that difficulty. And Nebuchadnezzar said, didn't we to three people there? And he said, and I see four men walking and rise. They have risen up and they are walking. That's 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 a bednigo. Look at this one. Yes, the fourth one is the appearance of the Son of God. He will be with you in your trouble. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. When you pass through fire, it will not burn you. When you pass through the river, you will not be drowned. Because Jesus Christ is still alive. You know, as I was going through, when I mentioned, the, you know, when I mentioned Noah, and I mentioned Obed Edom. Peter was waiting for you. I said, You meted my name. And I am here. And Peter says, Silver and gold have I none. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And tonight that power will come upon you. Because that name is still mighty and powerful today. That name has never lost its power. Has never lost its authority. You are listening to our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, or other anointed minister of God from our ministry. Let the words sink in your heart and they will do you good throughout your whole life. It is our belief by the grace of the Lord that you will come and worship with us at Deeper Life Bible Church, but number 4656 Bravo Drive. We have our service every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 11.30. And we have our Bible study on every Monday from 7 to 8.30. As you are doing so, I, the grace of the Lord will continue to be with you and you will never be the same. Thank you. God bless you.